A major decision tonight in Baltimore's largest mass shooting. Earlier today, a judge ordered three trials for five suspects facing charges related to July's Brooklyn Day shooting. Two people were killed and 28 others were injured during that July 2nd shooting. Now, it is the largest mass shooting in Baltimore City history. Alex Glaze was in the courtroom today as a judge ordered the defendants be split into three trials. Prosecutors were asking for seven cases to be combined for one trial. They referenced social media video, CCTV surveillance video, and other physical evidence to try to link the five defendants and get one joint trial. But ultimately, the judge decided against that joint trial and ordered three trials. Three trials for five suspects, all facing charges connected to July's Brooklyn Day mass shooting. Tristan Jackson, Aaron Brown, and three minors who are being charged as adults are facing 142 charges combined, and they all stem from the same July 2nd shooting. Judge Jeffrey Geller ordered Jackson and Brown be tried together. The state says Jackson and Brown arrived to the Brooklyn Day block party together, and Brown can be seen on CCTV handing something to Jackson before shots are fired. Prosecutors say bullet casings from that weapon are consistent with the weapon later seized during a search of Aaron Brown's home and another shooting which Brown is facing charges. Two minors who are each facing 10 charges, including first-degree murder and two riot charges, will be tried together. The uh, worst that could have turned out was that we were to be tried with at least uh, four others, at least three others and maybe four others. And uh, so just to be tried with one person, it's, uh, it helps quite a bit. A third minor will have his own trial. That minor is not facing any charges related to firing a gun at the Brooklyn Day block party, but can be seen on social media pulling a gun out of a bag. The lawyer for that third minor says the gun seen in the social media video is a toy gun. And we think that uh, now that it's been separated, we can really go at them. And as I said in earlier communication, they don't have the evidence to convict. And none of those trial dates have been set just yet, but the judge ended today's hearing by asking for lawyers to get on a Zoom call tomorrow to figure out their schedules and logistics. I'm Alex Goose reporting for WJZ. Alex, thank you. Well, if you